Did a crew of astronauts really go on strike in space today? 52 years ago, the Skylab 4 mission reportedly spiraled into a mutiny. The crew, exhausted by a grueling schedule, allegedly cut radio comms to relax. While NASA called it a misunderstanding, this strike forced a massive change in how astronauts are treated, prioritizing rest over nonstop work. But today is also the day of the double Galileos. In 1612, Galileo was sketching Jupiter when he drew a fixed star nearby. He didn't know it, but he was actually looking at Neptune. He tracked it, but lost it. If he hadn't, he would have discovered the planet 200 years early. Fast forward to the year 2000. The spacecraft named after Galileo made history at Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. It detected bright auroras dancing over the poles. This proved Ganymede is the only moon with its own magnetic field, likely powered by a molten iron core, just like Earth's. From a space station standoff to a missed planet, December 28th changed how we see the solar system.